why it's really important when you're working on these small generators that you check these things before you buy one. Now, these Jenny packs are really not of that. That's got to be Carl. What is it now, Carl? Ho, ho, ho. Happy DR Christmas. I love mail order. Hey everybody, welcome back to Dino's Tinker Shed. I'm here with my buddy Carl, and I wanted to unbox a few items that I've purchased in the recent times to uh, show you maybe what's coming up in new episodes in the near future. So I've got a couple boxes here. This one comes from the States. I thought maybe we would unbox it. Sure. Sort of show you what's going on here, Carl. See what's in the box. Yeah. So. Mail order is a great thing because there's, you know, you can get anything you want anywhere Shows for any door. bike, and uh, it's kind of, kind of what what we're looking at there. So, yeah. So this box came from ProCycle in the states, and ProCycle is probably one of the um, best supporters of the DR650 in North America. They do make a lot of great products. It's a one-stop shop, and you can get just about anything you want. So do you, you know what that is? That's a seal saver. Apparently this seal is like to pop out on the, uh, off the sprocket there or whatever. And uh, my bike has one, the previous owner installed one. Mm. And I never really looked at it, but it's been told it's there. <laughs> it is, I know it's so there. this is made by Suzuki. Yeah, this is genuine Suzuki part. So they put these on the newer ones. Is this like I a... think it's from 2012 forward, I think, okay. has this seal retainer. Okay. So. Extra insurance? Yeah, this? this is one of the things they talk about that's one of the weak points of the DR650. And I don't know how often these things fail, no. but apparently when they do, it, it's pretty catastrophic. All your oil gets pushed out through the through the drive, all over the chain, oh, all over really the ground. Nice. Yeah, I like that. It kind of leaves you sitting out there in the middle Somewhere of nowhere. Somewhere up in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's probably when it would happen. And it obviously was enough of a problem that Suzuki actually addressed it in 2006. So you'd have to take your covers off, inspect your seal, make sure it's not leaking, mm -hmm. and then clean everything up and put this on. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a fairly straightforward There's no thing. screws, but nope. it must have some kind of adapter, adapter yeah. plate or something for it on it. I yeah, know. I think it'll be pretty self-explanatory when we get into the project. Yeah, it's got a little weep hole on it too, a little slider there. Oh, well, that's good, it probably lets moisture out or something. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah, so I think it, I think it's pro, it's a pretty cheap upgrade. I think that was like fifteen dollars oh. or something. Uh, cheap insurance for sure. Yeah, cheap well, insurance. Well, and here we have feeler gauges. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're setting the intake and exhaust valves. Little yeah. fancy tools. There's two of them, but they're both the same. Yeah, I think one's yeah they're the same same make, but uh -huh. one's one's for your intake and one's for your exhaust. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this one is uh, what is it here? Six to eight foul. That one I'm probably four, four to five. five yeah. yeah, four to five. So I can't I can't remember which one's the intake and which one's the exhaust. We'll have to look that up oh, again. Yeah. But you know, if your valves aren't set well, it can lead to hard starting. Um, it can affect your decompression valve system on the top of the engine, apparently. Mm. And uh, I'm sure it would affect probably fuel mileage and and yeah, just, just overall general running condition. Yeah, I don't good, know. Good thing to check while you're. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and it's that's recommended. So, do yeah, it. I think it's every three or four thousand k. They yeah, tell you to yeah. check. We it. haven't put many kilometers on the bike this year. No, but. no, it's been kind of a yeah, rough year for riding for us. And that leads us to this last piece here, um, which is the ProCycle Jet Kit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this is like you said with your seal retainer. The previous owner to your bike, I think, put this. Oh yes, in. he was. Uh... Yeah. He did a lot of upgrades. Yeah, so I know one of the one of the complaints with the DR is, especially at idle and low speed, it runs pretty lean, mm -hmm. and that leads to sort of rough idling when you first start it in the morning, harder starts, um, less performance. Obviously, we we all want a little bit more performance, but it all actually they say. Uh, in stock form, it gets less fuel mileage than when you install this kit. It gets better fuel mileage when this goes in. Oh. And I think what really intrigues me about it is the fact that you can um, 
adjust the, the air mixture screw, the yeah. pilot air mixture screw, while the carburetor's on the bike. So you can fine tune that low speed. We're up in the mountains of uh, Colorado. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. When we're climbing uh, Mount Everest on, on the Pikes years. Peak. Pikes Peak, yeah. 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 So, and the other nice thing about this too is it does come with um, some stainless hardware to replace the, yeah. the, the hardware that holds your float bowl on that typically wears out with those Phillips head screws. Would you have to probably remove the carburetor to install this kit? Yeah, we're yeah. going to have to. Okay. So I've had the carb out on my bike once when I first got it just to clean it. Mm -hmm. um, and I did put in some new hardware on the outside because my, my screws were pretty much screwed. Yeah, it comes in new, new. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, I think you drill out the, the slide itself as well to give you a little bit more yeah, for reduced there. vacuum, allows the slide to, to yeah. actually move up and down a little bit quicker, more throttle response. It looks like they have great instructions, kind of goes through the whole thing. Yeah, I think I, I haven't had those open obviously, but um, it looks very, very well detailed kit. So I'm looking forward to this. This is this is me. Maybe we should give our friend a call who did yours. Yes. See if he wants to give us some pointers on this. Cause... Yes, because he just got back from his trip. I did believe. he? Yes. Oh, I good. He was yeah. up in James Bay or something I'm like. Yeah. That. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He went up with three or four other people yeah. for a for a two or three week ride. Yeah. He's gonna be in a magazine. Oh. Oh, I love it. Mojo magazine. Supposedly, nice. that's the plan. Anyway. Yeah. Well, so. that's good. Well, we'll we'll see if he wants to give us some pointers. Oh, he loves it. Yeah. He's a. Uh... He bit loves, of a he loves a, to play okay good so that leaves us just with that box over there carl oh, wow let's slide this why don't you why don't you open that up this is something i've i was looking at for quite some time carl and where's this from it's from this uh, is from amazon amazon amazon.ca yeah this was this was uh around 30 dollars. i think it was like 29 or 32 dollars. i can't quite remember canadian mm. So you know what this is? Well, it looks like a jack. It's a jack. It is a trail jack um, that I've been looking at online. And then it gets fairly good reviews. I think it gets four and a half out of five stars. Kind of set it up under your bike somewhere. Yeah, right? yeah. I think you just sort of Bob lean it up against the swing arm. You, you step on it and it'll lift the rear tire up. So you can well, you use... step on it. Yeah, well, I think you step on the middle of it, sort of oh, push on it. But, I'd like to see that happen. Yeah, well, I think this we could probably do a review on this, yeah. sort of explain how it works, how well it works, That's or it doesn't nice. work. Looks well made. It's not a... You know, I opened this one. I took a quick look at it ahead of time. I did. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. And I was quite impressed with the build quality of this thing yeah. right off the it's bat. Great and the fact that it comes with uh, replacement rubbers, and yeah. it actually comes with a sort of that optional wider foot stand too, to make the base a little wider. I thought it was, was pretty good. Yeah. And uh, so I thought maybe you and I could review this. Yeah. We'll take it out, see how it works out on a trail or on yeah, a gravel right. road. What's the difference? So you're, yeah. you're gonna be perfect. Yeah. yeah. And then I know that I also have a homemade trail jack that maybe we can look at and compare which one works best, oh, cool. right? So there, there are a few videos that are that are going to come up in the in the future. Yeah, I'd like to see that because that any bike. Yeah. No, I think it's pretty neat. Any bike. Yeah. Except for maybe a, you know, but still. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sure it has a weight limit. Yeah. I probably can't sit on it and use it. No, probably not. Sand. No, you won't. Yeah. Sand. So anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody finds this kind of interesting. Gives you a little insight into where Carl and I are heading with the channel. You know, over the next couple months. Um, I know I did get a request to do the valves, so that's one of the reasons that I've been waiting for these to come in. Um, you can do it just regular feeler gauges, but I want to show you both look both that, styles. Look at the bag. The yeah. bag's awesome. It's like a bag of Crown Royal. So yeah, if you're, I don't know if they have Crown Royal in the states or not, but well, you know, it's 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 a very deluxe for yeah. for twenty nine dollars. It's uh, you could put coins in that or, or whatever. Your marbles. Marbles. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any of those left. Okay, so. Uh, Thanks again for stopping by. It's uh, my buddy here, Carl. Carl, and and Dino. <laughs> we'll see you again soon on Dino's Tanker Shed. I guess we got to put all this back in the boxes. I guess.